Hey, what's up everyone? Gerald here with Blaze and Bait. Welcome back. Anyway, I know it's been a while since I've did a knife video. So today I figured I'll do a video. It's unlike uh, your typical knives. Let's just say that. Uh, they're just more of your oddballs, more uh, more strange, unusual, and the obscure. These are just some of the knives. I won't put them uh, to use. They're more of a novelty factor than anything else, but I enjoy them. Anyway, let's see what hey guys, we have. You know, if you guys are looking for some really unique and original, all custom designed tees, anything from your fishing, patriotic, Christian based and just funny t-shirts t-shirts like this all designed by me or my wife Come check it out at lumenpath.net and thank you very much guys for all your support The main thing is, is that I've been drawn to the weird, wacky, and the obscure for many years. Yep. In fact, these are just a few of the knives that I collected over the years. Some of your more unique, unusual knives. Not the kind of knives that you want to use on a daily basis. Let's get started. Uh, this one. This one is actually my oldest one. I picked this up when I was a teenager. Sometime in the 90s. Yes, I'm that old. <laughs> but I found this, and I think I picked it up at uh, the flea market. Someone was selling it. And uh, the main thing that's nice about this is that this is actually a three-position knife. I can open it up like this, and where I can use it as a, more of a punch dagger or a push dagger. And I can open it up this way where it works more like your typical fixed blade knife than anything else. Of course, I just need to press down on the lock and close it close all the way. It. Press the lock again. Turns into a, a T-knife or a push dagger. And press the lock again. And it turns into your regular blade. This was actually one of the knives that I actually did carry and use for a little bit but it is a little bit of a hassle to open and close the next one this one i have to be extremely careful with <clears throat> because i was playing around with it many years ago i nicked myself and it took me well over four days before it stopped bleeding i believe it came out in early 2000s this one is your cold steel triple action uh, knife. That is cool, isn't it? Made by cold steel, extremely wicked sharp. I know I've seen videos where people do a lot of tricks with this. Me, not so much, not anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, Cold Steel came out with this because uh, back in the 90s, uh, they pretty much deemed butterfly knives to be a deadly weapon. So, uh, Cold Steel went around this law by having this triple action knife. Products. This one came out, I believe, back in 2008 or so. This one is made by Smith & Wesson. This is called the Power Glide. There it is, folks. I have the first production run out of 5,000. Made by Smith & Wesson. The Power Glide. And for those who said that they can't operate this knife with one hand, it's that easy. <laughs> but it's more of your modern day German paratrooper knives that uh, came out back in World War II. It's not something that I'll be using, but basically it runs on those gears right here uh, to slide it up or down. Uh, 
Yeah, a pretty cool little fidgety knife. Uh, it's not quite so little, but still very fidgety. <laughs> Next one that I have out here. This is made, also made by Cold Steel. This one is called the Kudu. And there it is, folks. The Kudu is actually a type of antelope that lives in Africa. In fact, this type of uh, knife, they call it the ring lock knife, is actually commonly used by the Africans. And I figure this will be a good utility knife. Um, basically what it is, there's some ratchet sass inside. You pull up on this ring right here to disengage the lock. It is definitely not something that you want to pocket, but then again, uh, cold steel is not made for their little tiny petite knives. They're known for more of your freakishly large knives that you want to bring into a, a biker bar or something. <laughs> but this one is the cold steel kudu. This one right here is actually, um, they call it the triple action swing blade look at it folks isn't that wacky <laughs> but i just thought it was so strange and unusual that i had to have it it's definitely different uh apparently this isn't a new design either this one actually uh, came out back in the 40s this particular design and is um, modeled from a paratrooper knife it's actually pretty fun to play with and a uh, great fidget toy I think not something you that you want to bring into the office unless you want the cost to be called on you but yeah this is the swing blade triple action swing blade knife this one is very similar to what I've just showed you. This one is made by Baladeo. It's a Spanish company. This one is also a triple action swing blade knife. The action on it is very stiff. I can't seem to open it with one hand as of yet. But I spotted this one and I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, look at it. It's such a unique action on it. And one thing for sure, once you have that handle folded in, it works more like a fixed blade than a folding knife. It is just a strange little pocket knife. Finally, we have this guy right here. This is a mechanical karambit. It's pretty cool. I didn't realize it at the time that this was actually a copy from the CRKT Provoke, but I thought it was really cool. It's, it's definitely different. It's, uh, what it is is that it's a karambit that tucks in and it doesn't fold in. It uh, uh, slides on this hinges right here. Where you can whip it out, it stays locked. The liner lock is right on this bar right here. You simply press down on it to close it back up. You do have a little belt clip on the back too. Personally, if I want to carry around a karambit, me, I will uh, stick with my fixed blade karambit or my classic liner lock karambit. I don't know if I will trust <laughs> Using this one, I have a feeling it'll pop open in my pocket if I do. There it is, folks. Hey guys, that is just a few of my weird and wacky, unusual knives that I have to show you. And that's the main thing about it, folks. You know, if it brings you joy, pick it up. You know, don't worry about what other people have to say or think about it. Anyway, that's about it, and... Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please smash that like and leave me your comments down below, folks. Please consider subscribing for some more knives, 
fishing, and kit videos. You guys take care. Talk to you later.